You want an effortless forehand? Before we get too far in the video, I want to thank everybody that is watching. If you're turning to the channel, please subscribe. Um, thank everybody for those who have subscribed so far. If you're commenting, I love the interaction between you guys. We're gonna get straight into the video. I get a ton of compliments. I'm not saying this in a bragging way, but when I'm out playing tournaments with people, I always get compliments about my forehand. Like, wow, it looks so effortless. It looks, it looks like you're barely even throwing it. I think part of the reason is I don't have a real extravagant run up. My run up is pretty simple. Um, and then all of it is just done in this split second where my reach back, pull through and release is done so fast it just looks effortless. But before we start trying to talk about getting out to 450 feet or 400 feet or 350 feet, if you have wobble in your forehand, there's some things we may need to work on before we start trying to get to those distances. Uh, in order to have less wobble, you need a cleaner release and more rotation. We're gonna talk about those things. So the first one we're gonna bring up is our grip. I do a power grip. I take my middle finger and put it right where the uh, rim meets the flight plate, right there, and I tuck this finger underneath it, and then those sit in there just like that. It's hard to see. And then my ring finger rests the knuckle rests right on that flight plate, or not flight plate, the rim just like that, the underside of the disc, just like that. And my thumb is about where my, right on top of my index finger, about right there. And for me that is so comfortable, and it's what I use, and it works for me. But if you're not getting a clean release, you may think about trying to find other grips that help you get that clean release. Um, this is a, another grip. You got the stack grip, which is basically the same thing. This middle finger is right where that rim meets the flight plate. Your ring, finger stacked on top of it. Um, Paul Macbeth, I think his, his finger is actually underneath like that. Um, but these fingers, for me, stay there no matter what, where these fingers are at. These two stay right there. So you got to work on your grip. Find a grip that's comfortable. Find a grip that you get the cleanest release out of and then we're gonna go from there. Next, we're gonna talk about our wrist. Um, when I do it, I have to stop myself sometimes because sometimes when I really try to power over on things, I rotate my wrist. I turn my wrist over, and if you think about it, if you're coming through and you turn your wrist over, that's gonna turn that disc right into the ground. And you want a good, clean, flat release. So you don't do it this way. It's really this motion. So when you're coming through, it's right here. And believe it or not, I use this finger to kind of give it an extra little push right at the end. I don't know if any of you guys do that. Um, it's something I thought about that I heard nobody else teach about, is this little bitty push right here. Right at the very end, when I'm coming through, my wrist is there, I just give this disc a little, little, a little flick, because that's basically what it is. It's, a, it's just a little flick. You want a good, flat, clean release. My elbow usually stays pretty tight to my body, but I have the form where I come, I come over a little bit. My disc is always released on a slight Anheuser. You may not be like that. You may release it on a slight hyzer or flat. So my next point is you gotta choose the right disc. Um, for me, I don't do as well with understable discs. I like discs with more stability, so I can really hammer over on them, and I'll trust that they'll come back out. So you gotta have the right grip, and you gotta have the right disc. The last thing we're gonna talk about is when I come through, my elbow is leading. My elbow is the first thing to come through, and then, I mean, it really starts from the body, from the ground up, but when I come right here, I kinda of do this little hop, kind of. Um, but basically, when I do this, my hips are engaging. I use this arm right here to kind of pull, pull my shoulder back as this one's coming forward. And I lead with my elbow, hips, elbow, forearm, wrist, 
and then the end I flick it out. Um, and you got to do it in that sequence. You can't really have your wrist in front of your elbow. You're not going to get hardly any distance that way. So, so we're going to work on a little drill. I know it sounds kind of kiddish, but you got to really focus on the little things in order to get further distance. If you're struggling with a wobble, it's probably because you're not getting enough spin on your disc or you're not getting a clean release. And we're going to fix those things right here. So the, the, whole, the whole point of this video is to get no wobble and a clean release. That right there is going to set you up to get into putting more power into it because you can put all the power you want into it, but if it comes out flopping, it ain't going to go very far. So we're going to work on a little drill. It's kind of, I have a video about my backhand doing standstills. We're going to do the similar thing with the forehand. When we stand up here, all I want you to do is start in this position. You're gonna, you may have, you may feel like you're not flexible to get your arm really, real back, real far. But I want you, don't pull the disc up high, don't pull it down low. To start with it, about, you want your forearm pretty level, depending on the stability of the disc. If you are throwing more hyzer flips, you want your arm kind of at an angle. More anhyzer force overs up or flat. But generally speaking, you want it pretty flat. Take this disc and just bend it back, okay? And that right there is gonna get you where you need to be. And all you're gonna do is take this, and I just want you to work on getting a clean release with no wobble. Just little flicks, just little flicks. You'll stay right here. That's all you're gonna do. I'll try it one more time. Really focus on a clean release, a, and right at the end, you just do this little flick out. So right here, you start back here, bring your elbow into your side, and then push it out. That's it. So we'll start right here. If you want to use your off arm, you can, but that's if you pick up on the other things pretty quickly. You just want to start back here. That was a little low to the ground. We're not searching for max distance right here. All we want is a clean release with no wobble. That's it. That's it. That's all you want to do. When you get that down packed, you can start incorporating, getting more momentum. Most of your power, really for me, comes from my hips engaging and pulling through, but we're not going to worry about that. We just want a clean, good release with no wobble. So right here, if you are left-handed, you want your right leg forward. If you're right-handed, you want your leg, left leg forward. So the opposite of your throwing hand is actually forward because that's your plant foot. And you definitely don't want to do this action. Definitely don't want any of this going on. None of this. It's more of this action. It's back, elbow in, flick it out. Back, elbow in, flick it out. So you're back, elbow in, flick it out. So that is where we're going to start in order to get an effortless, wobble-free forehand. Once you get good at that, we can move on to other parts of the forehand, but let's start there. Once you get it wobble-free, we'll be a thumbs up, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. i got a lot of returning viewers. Love to have the comments, and love to have the interaction with everybody. Thank you guys for watching. Until I catch you in the next one, go in peace, and be blessed.